Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another pen for review and this is a Black Robins pen and this has been loaned to me by a friend so I'd like to thank them for the loan of this pen for review. This is a Black Robins pen and it is the Ophelia. So first of all what I want to do is I want to show you what Meg actually provides. I've done this before, uh, but this is an updated sort of review of what Meg provides from Black Robin Pens. So if I unwind this here and remove the contents, there are a bunch of things that you see here. One is this very beautiful business card, a uh, very, very shiny gold uh, blackbird there or black robin I should say uh, on a fountain pen and that's uh, Meg's details there so you can actually see those if you want to uh, buy a pen uh, or commission a pen from Meg you also get this really lovely black robin pens sweetie so or lolly lollipop uh, you also get a uh, thank you card, and uh, I'm not going to open that because this isn't uh, my pen. And then you get this, and, and this is again another Black Robin pens there. And you can see this is a certificate of authenticity. So this is designed and created by Megan Blackburn of Black Robin pens. This is an Ophelia, and it is a Illumilite by Turnt Pen Company. And the color is a cellophane flowers. Uh, Jovo or Yovo number six nib. And then you have the dimensions there. And also, Meg goes into a lot more detail there in terms of captor body threads, section threads, and when it was created. And then you have this, and this is the pen. So I am going to open this carefully because it will go back to the original owner. So, we'll unwrap this. And again, you have this really beautiful pen tube here. And uh, it says Black Robin Pens and Black Robin Pens there as well. So, this is actually quite an interesting set of packaging there for a custom made pen. So, I think let's remove the tissue paper. And now we'll look at the pen itself. And inside here, you'll see yet again another branding here from Black Robin Pens. So Meg really does go above and beyond in terms of uh, creating that special touch. And this is the pen. So this is the Ophelia. And I will zoom in a little bit more so you can see it there in all its detail. So this is one of the of many models that, that Meg actually creates. Uh, and it is the cellophane flowers color by the Turnt Pen Company. That's the material. Uh, this is quite an interesting shape. You can see that it actually goes down to a very, very pointed end. Uh, the cap not so pointed, or it's still quite a point, but not as pointed as the end. Um, this really is a beautiful material as well from uh, the term Pen Company. Very vibrant blues and greens there, and also some gold as well that that is, is just mixing through that pattern. Um, now, what I will say is that the pen is a little bit on the, the slimmer side. Uh, so this is probably ideal for, for a female. Um, I do know a couple of males, uh, friends, that do have the Ophelia as well. Um, if I unscrew the cap, you'll see here, uh, it's just a plain uh, Yovo number no. 6 size nib. Uh, and it has just an ABS plastic feed there. Uh, you can also see there's quite a bit of shimmer in that section, or actually in the material itself. Uh, some some dust gold or silver dust there 
Now it comes with a standard uh, international converter there. Uh, and you can see that there in the size of my hand, uh, the section has a little bit of a concaveness going on there and it flares out just towards the nib. Uh, the threads itself is just a very slight step down there, not a huge amount and it really doesn't bother me at all. The, the threads are actually very comfortable if you wanted to hold this up a little bit higher. Um, the cap actually screws on very nicely um, the point here is actually quite blunt so you won't actually feel the point much there um, where the the uh, cap finial or what sorry the body finial would taper down is a little bit more on the sharper side because it is a a very very big point there that you can see so you do feel that point a little bit more but I think that actually just, just brings out the pen a little bit more. Because I think this shape is actually quite interesting. It's a little bit of a sort of an hourglass shape of a pen. But this material is actually really quite beautiful. And it really uh, is sparkling on, on camera for me. This is very, very nice. So I think with that, let's do a size check, we'll do a weight check, we'll do a pen comparison, and then we'll do a writing sample. So, the full length of the pen, we are looking at about 149 millimeters in length. The length of the cap, we're looking about 62 millimeters in length. And then we'll do a check on the length of the body. And that's to the tip of the nib or tip of the tines. I would say that we're looking about 141, maybe 142 millimeters uh, in length there. So that itself is quite a long pen. Now, can you post the cap? Yes, you can. Uh, and that actually does sort of uh, remove that pointedness back end to the pen. Um, it will not post maybe securely. It will just post. Actually, no, it will. It will post securely. It's just it. It will just wobble a bit. Um, so I'm not so sure that this is really designed to post. But you can post that cap if you wanted to. Actually, that went on quite quite tight there. So that really is uh, quite a uh, nice size pen. Uh, I think what we'll do we'll do a weight check now. Now, this is uninked. We are looking 16.74 grams, so just under 17 grams in weight. The weight of the cap, we're looking at just under 4.5 grams. And then the weight of the body, I'll try and stop it rolling off. We're looking at just under 12 and a half grams. So that is quite a light pen for sure. But this is quite an interesting shape of a pen. I haven't actually seen one of these up close before from Meg. Uh, I do have another one of Meg's pens, uh, but this one I, I haven't seen yet in person. I've seen it on Instagram a lot, and I've seen that other people have also bought these Ophelia models but I have, this is the first time that I'm actually seeing this in person. But that material is really beautiful. The, the Turn Pen Company is making some beautiful material there. So I think with that, let's do a comparison with other pens. So from left to right, we have a Conway Stewart Churchill in the blue Stardust, a Conway Stewart Churchill in the red Stardust, a, a Eric Lusso Pens, and this is the Carina. And that is in the Black Ice Illuminite. We have a Twisby Rack 700R. We have the Black Robin Pens Ophelia. We have the Dens Pens. And this is the Fafnir. We have an Estabrook Camden. We have a Twist Pens Volcano. We have a Scrivo Feel in the Blue Grey. And a Scrivo Feel in the Blue Black. Now... I thought I would ink this pen up today with Pelican Edelstein 
and its appetite. So this is black robin hens. And this is the Ophelia. And it is a broad and it is a still uh, Yovo nib. Number six size nib. And the ink in here today is Pelican Edelstein. And it is Appetite. Now, in terms of line variation, so this is a broad nib. So you're already getting what I would say is a Western board. Now, I can push that nib a little bit harder and get a, a much more broader line, almost, I'd say, to a double board. But you can see here that this nib uh, is working flawlessly. There's no hard starts or skips. We'll do an ink wetness test. And as you can see there, these Yovo broad nibs are actually very, very good in terms of ink wetness. And I have to say that that really doesn't disappoint me. This nib actually writes very well. And I do like that with, with Yovo broad nibs. It's something, uh, really the reason why I do have so many Yovo broad nibs is that they are smooth uh fairly wet almost but not quite fire hose um and they just write spectacularly well so what do i like what do i not like about this pen uh i am very interested in this shape uh this wouldn't be a shape that i normally would go for in in a pen um but i am actually finding this quite interesting and i'm pretty sure looking at the the shape of this pen here that this would have taken Meg a long time to actually turn in from a rod into a pen. The polishing is actually a really good high standard there. You can see a gloss like sort of uh, where my studio lights are actually uh, bouncing off the surface there. So, uh, and I also like the material from the Turnt Pen Company. This is a stunning material. And, and I have to say this material, when I've seen swirl patterns like like a, a painting like this in other materials, they're never, never as crisp as this. And you can see this here in that goldness there, the greens, the blues. It really does look nice. So for me, this is actually quite a nice pen. Uh, it is on the thinner side, so if you uh, are more um, liking... A thinner pen then this may be the pen for you um, I typically do prefer thicker sections however I'm actually still finding that this section is actually quite good uh, the bow diameter is 15.3 millimeters the section length is 23.2 millimeters um, and the section itself I would say is probably around about a, a 12 millimeter uh, section there uh, it is really, really nice. So there you have it. That's my review of the Black Robin Pens Ophelia. And this is in uh, cellophane flowers. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.